Today, we're gonna to be talking about iMessaging on the iPhone. Basically, another form of text messaging we use on here and what to do when it's not working and how exactly it works. Welcome everybody, I'm Kevin with Helpful Tutorials, back and refreshed from vacation, ready to go. And I have had some issues lately sending some text messages through iMessage and I wanted to go ahead and fix the problem and I figured why not go ahead and do it as a video. Unfortunately, I can't duplicate it as it's happening right now, but I'll explain it as I go. Basically, the main issue is you go into your text messaging, you try to send a message and the line across the top just keeps moving and the message does not send. And when that happens, it ends up saying not delivered with a circle and an I in red saying your message didn't go through. And that's because your iPhone is using iMessaging, which is a part of Apple. They got the idea from BlackBerry because BlackBerry used to have BlackBerry messaging and it was very popular. And Apple was like, why don't we do that? We'll do it and we'll allow it for free. That way you don't have to use text messaging. So when you're using text messaging through a service like AT&T, it's actually using your cellular data which is the towers the older way and when it does that they can go ahead and count how many text messages you use and charge you with apple what they do is they use your data so when you're using your data it's not able to be counted through at&t so that's why apple can give you these messages for free what happens when it fails and it's not going through? Well, you can always go ahead and switch back to the other one as long as you do have some type of plan with AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile, whichever carrier you have. So with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to switch it if you are getting that error, just to kind of get your messages to go. So say I get that error, I send a message, it loads, it takes about five minutes and then it fails. Now I can click on it and send as text message, but then if I want to do a second message, then I'm stuck because when I do the second message, it's going to go ahead and take another five minutes and then I'm going to have to resend it again. But what the trick is, you just want to turn iMessaging off to be able to send messages until you're able to fix your problem. And yes, we'll go over on how to fix the problem altogether as well, but let me first show you how to do this so you can send your messages until you're back home and you have some time to work on it. So what we would do is go into settings and we would scroll down till we get the messages and choose messages. Here at the top, you wanna to go ahead and just turn iMessage off. There we go, it's off. Now you'll be able to go ahead and go back to your text messages and go ahead and send those messages. So now you fix the problem until you have time later. Now it's later and you're ready to clean it up. So let's go ahead and fix it. First issue is it happens when you just have too many messages. You might have been texting 20 people for three years now and not have deleted your messages. Yes, that adds up and that starts causing problems in the app. And that is my issue. I have stuff from 2016. I have so many random messages. It's going to take me a while to go ahead and delete it. But I'll go ahead and go into messages here. And I'm going to have to blur some stuff because it's a lot of, you know, personal stuff here. But basically all you'd want to do is hit edit at the top. And you want to select the ones you want to delete. And then at the bottom right, there's a delete option and you would just go ahead and choose that delete. And you want to do that and delete as many as possible. But before you do this, make sure you look to see if there is anything you need, any pictures that they sent you that you want to keep, any phone numbers they sent you before you keep, because once you delete them, you know, they're on their way out. So make sure you get everything you need there before you do this. With this said, I'm gonna go ahead and delete these and come back and have a clear palette here and fix this once and for all. 
I have messages with my wife from probably years and we message nonstop. So yeah, there's going to be a lot of, a lot of cleanup here. Let's go ahead back in settings and go ahead in general. And I want to show you something iPhone storage. When we're in here, they do have something here, auto delete old conversations. That is something you may want to enable by going through and doing that after one year, it'll automatically delete stuff that you're not using. So that's what you could do. If you look down, you can see that I am at 2.73 gigs of messages, which I think is pretty, pretty, uh, you know, pretty large. I don't know about you. If you have more, <laughs> go ahead and put them in the comments because I'm definitely curious. But that is a good amount, and I'm going to go ahead and make sure I take care of all those right now. But this is how you can enable it so it will not run into the problem that we're having right now. And I'm back with a clear palette. All my messages have been deleted. Years and years of conversation are gone just like that. So now I should go ahead and be able to send the messages again. I'm going to go ahead and go back into my settings and find messages and turn iMessaging back on so it's enabled. So after I've turned iMessages back on, I'm going to need to restart my phone on my side because I have deleted all my messages and it's basically saying waiting. So we're going to hold both buttons and then it's going to go ahead and ask to turn off. We're going to slide to power off. And then once it's off, we'll go ahead and turn it back on here. And now that we're back on, I did check my messages down here and it is active now. So it does look like you may need to reboot if you delete all your messages, turn them off and turn it back on. So keep that in mind. And then once it's back on, you should be able to send your messages again and you are good to go. So I hope this helped clarify a few things. Like I said, iMessages uses data, regular text uses cellular. So you'll always have the option of just turning off the iMessage to be able to send it through regular text. I have some other videos here I think that will interest you. Make sure you check them out and I will see you over there.